This is Marcelo Quadra with your News in 90 for Tuesday, September 24th. 340 dogs were seized at a Hillsborough County breeding facility. After a year-long court battle, the county argued that the dogs were not being properly cared for at a Tampa animal breeding business. That's when Animal Control began transferring the dogs from the facility to the Pet Resource Center Monday morning. With the Resource Center already over capacity, they are waiving adoption fees for all dogs to help make room. However, the dogs can't be adopted for another 30 days as state laws require the dogs to be kept in case of an appeal. Northeast High School football player Jaquez Welch is brain dead after collapsing during a Friday night football game. After being tackled in the game and not being able to get back up, doctors discovered that the 17-year-old had a pre-existing brain condition known as arterial venous malformation. Welch's mother, Marcia Nelson, said in a press conference that the incident had nothing to do with the sport, but unfortunately took place at an early age doing what he loved. As an organ donor, he is expected to help give life to seven others. Northeast High School will be hosting a memorial game on October 4th in his memory. Tropical Storm Karen is expected to make landfall in southeast Puerto Rico late Tuesday. The storm will be hitting the northeastern Caribbean with heavy rains which may cause flooding and landslides. This storm comes shortly after the island was shaken by a 6.0 magnitude earthquake Monday night. Government officials are advising people to stay indoors while the storm passes. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.